Hello guys, welcome to a new video, and today I have a um, Saiga 12, chambered in 12 gauge shotgun shells, of course. I am really happy on how this gun turned out, it's definitely one of my best guns yet, dare I say. Definitely one of my best AK type builds, but that doesn't mean anything, I've only built two so far, but out of those two it's definitely the best. So let's start off by... Um, Talking about the handguard, it's really nice. It has some uh, vent holes, as you can see. I used an um, uh, interesting technique over here using hinges, so it has a really nice shape to it. Uh, you can see the gas tube throughout the um, uh, handguard, and it has foils just uh, for handguards and or optics and stuff. Um, here it has. A muzzle device, it's these really nice um, triangular pieces uh, all around it. Kind of a, like a breaching device to blow off hinges. And it has um, pin details along the gun. I'm not sure if that's too realistic on every place, but the grip is really comfortable and also really sturdy. It hasn't broken on me ever, so that's really nice. Definitely a good uh, new way of making grips. Just a uh, trigger, normal trigger, nothing special. Just the um, the uh, safety uh, switch. It's a civilian model, so it only goes from uh, safety to semi. And as you can see, it can buck up around like that, but it can now. Um, but you already know that. It has really nice uh, custom, custom uh, uh, charging handle. Nice and round and comfortable. And um, here's the dust cover. Is it a reel on top? On, on that reel is a custom iron sight. They can flip up like that. It's more sturdy than it looks, trust me. As, uh, look down the iron sights. Really comfortable or um, clear. It goes from a uh, 5 wide to 4 wide receiver. Just like on. Uh, my different usernames, uh, Groza. It's definitely one of the best ways to do it. And here the stock, nothing too special. It's a nicely shaped butt plate. And a, um, uh, a, a thing. It's a magazine release. No rubber band because it didn't need one. Then here's the magazine with a fake bullet on top or shell. I should say, which is flat because of the magazine I had to use. This goes in nicely like that. And there it goes again. It's a shame that I had to fall back on such a simple design, but it wouldn't work otherwise because of the uh, mechanism I used for it. Oh, it broke. I fixed the rubber band now. And I'm going to show you that you can actually see it down in the magazine well. As you can see there, you can't see anything. Then when I put in a new magazine, just like that, you can uh, see the bullet or the um, shell. As you can see a little bit of red there. So overall, I am extremely happy on how this gun turned out. Definitely one of my best builds. Um, amazing or very good detail in my opinion and yeah i'm very happy just in general about this gun it took me really long to make like a few weeks or something and thank you for watching goodbye